My name is Craig Bradshaw. Um, I'm the program leader for the MSc in Digital Marketing. In terms of what students can, can expect from the course, um, we've kind of pulled together a really, a really good mix of academic theory, which is never going to go out of, of fashion and is always going to be relevant to, to students. Uh, but we try and supplement that with a, a really contemporary range of real life case studies, uh, insight from, from practitioners, uh, real data from real companies, real project briefs, real case studies, um, so that when students eventually graduate from uh, Northumbria that they'll go on to be industry ready for the, the jobs that they're, they're hopefully um, looking to, to get in the future. Yeah. In terms of uh, modules that I think are, are, are interesting or kind of maybe ones that students might enjoy most, um, we have uh, three dedicated digital modules on the, on the programme, one of which is called the, the Digital Consumer Journey, which is basically thinking about sort of digital culture and, and mainstream culture nowadays. The main way we access content and, and access products and services is, is online. So what we try and do is try and give students the tools and, and, and resources to be able to understand a given audience and map the customer journey from seeing an ad on social media through to purchasing through a, a company's website and then collecting in store and then hopefully kind of recommending that brand on social media to their, their friends and family. So the customer journey you know, is, is, is always going to be the companies are always struggling to do that. Um, so that's one of the modules that students really enjoy because it's they're getting under the skin of a real problem and a real product and, and understanding how what makes consumers tick with regards to that industry. Um, but the modules we do that I think are, are really relevant, we do one uh, called Digital Campaign Management, um, which this year um, is done in collaboration with the Institute of Direct and Digital Marketing, um, and it's done in collaboration with Instagram. So what it is, it's a, a real competition, a national competition, where Instagram have asked students from Northumbria and across the country to come up with a campaign to get companies to use Instagram stories as part of their marketing campaigns. So students get to work on a real brief set by a real, you know, very well-known company. Um, and what they're doing is coming up with ideas to improve Instagram's business performance. Uh, and then hopefully they submit their ideas to, to the IDM. And then if they're lucky enough, they'll get invited down to London to pitch to Instagram and the IDM in, in July. Uh, swanky offices just off Oxford Street. Uh, and they're pitching their ideas to those businesses and being with a chance of winning £1,500 and uh, you know, money can't buy recommendation on your CV from you know pitch, having the opportunity of pitching to Instagram. So yeah, that that whole module is designed around the the competition set by the IDM, and we very much give students the tools and the guidance needed to complete that to the best of their, their abilities, so that when you know that is a very nice piece of, of content to have in your portfolio to then take with you to into say, so, well, this is a, a campaign I ran for on behalf of Instagram, and it achieved X, Y, and Z results. To supplement that, um, what are the the biggest barriers I think in terms of what students struggle with when they go into real jobs uh, in the digital marketing sector is metrics so obviously you know you can measure everything to the nth degree how long somebody's watched a video for how far they scrolled down a website how much they paid for a click on a particular advertisement all this sort of stuff students need to know when they go into jobs so we pretty much give you a, a kind of scattergun approach of every single metric that you might need to know about and give you a very uh, in-depth analysis of, of what it can do, why it's important, why, what campaigns that metric might be important for, and again, hopefully, putting that together or packing that, that together in a in a, a suite of, of marketing metrics, so that then they can build a, a dashboard, a real-time dashboard that collects all the information that's important to them. And again, that's a nice piece of information to take to a, an interview or to a, a recruitment panel to say, well, I built this dashboard for this company. It's looking at uh, traffic from social media, traffic through the website, which pages are most popular on the website, um, what the average spend is, what the average customer lifetime value is, all that sort of stuff that they're going to be expected to do in a real, a real job. And we try to very much equip them to be able to do that and, and not come into a, a job cold and have no idea what any of the metrics mean. So that's the one I enjoy teaching most because it's the one that students find probably most challenging because it's it's very uh, measurement focused and, and lots of numbers which maybe they don't normally associate with their marketing role um, but by the end of that module you know they've, they've, you can see the the weight lifted off the shoulders saying yeah I feel more confident going into news now because I know what uh, average cost per click is I know what uh, reach is I know what impressions are and all that sort of stuff that, so they can go into the jobs and, and feel confident with, with what uh, in terms of, of anything that's different compared to maybe some of the other um, universities offer a similar course I think one thing that, that's kind of been a really nice surprise for us is just how how well graduates from from 
the course I've done. Um, so obviously the course is in its third year now, um, so it's only been running for three years, but in that time we've had some graduates gone on to do amazing things for local, national and, and international companies. Um, so we get a good mix of, of, of UK and um, international students, and obviously those students all come in do amazingly well and go on to get jobs in either the UK if they want to stay or they go to work in their, their home countries and uh, yeah the, stu- the graduates we've had some of the, the companies have gone to work for just makes the job of me selling this course much easier you know you've got the likes of Sky, Salesforce, um, people who've gone to set their own companies, people who've gone to work for reputable agencies both in the North East and in the UK and even internationally so just how well and how employable the graduates we, we've helped to played a very small part in creating have uh, gone on to do is, is kind of something that, that I would never have hoped to be as, as, as amazing as it has been and it, it's good to see those students get back into it because saying I couldn't have got this job without the, the stuff I learned in that course and yeah thanks and I know I you know I'm not egotistical I know that I've played a small part in their careers but giving them the tools and maybe giving them a, a slight step up and a, a slight advantage over somebody else from a different uh, university is, is yeah something money can't buy and that's kind of what what makes my my job worthwhile for me. In terms of how the course helps to, to improve employability, I think the key the key thing we really focus on is, like I said, is, is giving students the, the the wider marketing theory that they need to kind of understand why they are doing a certain thing or why they are taking a certain approach for a certain com- uh, customer. Um, but we supplement that with the practical skills and the practical toolkits that they will need to go in to do the jobs that they need to do, regardless uh, with regards to whatever job they want to do in the future. So. And again, that's that's kind of something we've identified that um, maybe companies have, have struggled to find in graduates over in recent years, and that's something with a gap in the market we've tried to fill. Um, so they've, you know, the feedback we've had before the, the digital marketing course was was sort of formed was that graduates are very good, they're very book smart, um, but the we almost have to train them up from scratch because they don't know how to do the day to day tasks that we want them to do. Um, because obviously, every company now needs some sort of digital presence. So you know, you've got. You know, agencies. You've got um, e-commerce retailers, but we've also got kind of lots of B2B companies who they know they should be doing digital in some form, whether that's social media or improving the website presence, but they don't know how to do the nitty gritty of what needs to be done. So, as a as a recognition of that, we said, well, how can we add a, a practical element and a practical spin to our course so that students, yes, they understand the theory, they learn the, the contemporary um, theories that are being talked about in academia, but also. How can we give them skills so they got they are confident to go into a, a, a job from day one and do that to, to the best of their ability? And I think that's something we've we've done really well because you know the students kind of almost sometimes you get, like you get, they're a bit like a rabbit in the headlights when they first start the course. It's like I have no idea what any of this means, but by the end of the the, the course, they think, yeah, I know every, everything everything I need to do, and that comes across in interviews. That comes across in you know the, how they carry themselves in the roles that they, they're going out to do. And I think that's kind of what what sets us apart from from other people and. and hopefully helps us the students to become much more employable that they they can add value to a business in terms of questioning why they're doing certain things from a marketing perspective but they can also say right well based on what you've just told us to do how do we do it and that's something they can say well yeah I've told you how to do it uh, what to do but this is how to do it as well and I'm going to go and implement that for you which I think is yeah indispensable I think for a lot of companies so in terms of any anything else that I think is is valuable or um um, of value to, to students to come thinking of coming to, to Northumbria. I think one of the key USPs we've got is um, the business clinic. So as part of the masters um, in semester three, students have a chance of either doing a dissertation on a, a digital marketing subject of their choice. Um, but if they don't perhaps fancy doing a dissertation, maybe they've done a dissertation in an undergraduate degree and they want to get some more real life practical experience, we, we offer something called the business clinic where students can work in a group of maybe five or six um, postgraduate students and work on a real brief that's been set by um, a real company with with real issues. So these are done on a sort of pro bono basis. So companies come to Northumbria saying we need help with our website or we need help with our social media strategy. Have you got any students that can help us? Um, which is where the, the business clinic comes in handy because then students get the opportunity to work on a real company and provide and create real value for those companies. But it's also something that looks really good on their CV because again, one of the things employers look for is you know, have you got any real world business experience? So that's that's something that's really nice, uh, I think, for, for students to do because it, again, prepares them for, for the working world and maybe something a bit different than just kind of doing a 15,000 word dissertation on, on something that's relevant, but maybe not as valuable to a business than, you know, this is how I improved somebody's conversion rate through the website, for example. On top of that, um, I think one of the, the another key thing is, is the course itself is accredited by the uh, Chartered Marketing Institute and the 
Institute of Digital and Direct Marketing. So two good governing bodies uh, in the marketing world, you know, two of the world's biggest governing bodies, um, or industry bodies is probably a better way of putting it. So they are, they've accredited our course and you know, that just shows that they, they are happy with the work that we're doing and it also gives students an opportunity to come and do the course here. But then once they've graduated from us, they have the opportunity to, take, to further improve their qualifications by um, partaking in exams held by both the, the CMI and the, the IDM.